What's up, everybody? Danny Loer from the agency Bombers. I'm here with my good friend Laurie Times from LT Design Studio. And today we're going to learn about everything Bahamian design and architecture. Laurie's going to give us some history, tips, and Explain us, what, what is Bahamian design? Well, if you really look back at the old homes in Great Turtle Key and Harbor Island, you will notice that there is an open floor plan to allow breeze. And then there's also wraparound porches so that you can have this element of relaxation outside. Sorry, that's very interesting. Do you have any examples we can look at? Yeah, just grab the Bahamas sketchbook I can show you. So for example, the wraparound porches so you can hang out and catch the cool breeze. And mm -hmm. then this also has the Bahama shutters, which is good for aesthetics, but also protective during hurricane season. And then also this building here, the Magna Carta Court, has the most famous red shutters in the entire world. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you have this tray here, is, is that a part of your design process? Yes, yeah, so we start initially with the floor plans and sketches similar to what's in this book, but we also add mood boards to our presentation. You know, it's really good for clients to touch and feel the items that are actually going into their home. So for example, this right here is the handle that's gonna go on a cabinet in this bathroom that I'm creating. So you know I love working with you, Laurie, your passion is like coming from your belly. Like where, where is it coming from? What's inspiring you to, to design the way you design? See, listen, I really, really am a Bahamian. You know right. what I mean? So I get inspiration from the Bahamas. If you check out my Instagram page, website, you'll see that we don't just design here, we live here. So it's authentically getting a Bahamian experience. Well, if you get the Bahama Mama book, I can show you an example of show like me. our history. Like my cousin's in here and her name is Lady Di, and look, she is one of the hardest working women I know. She's developed the bit pineapple fields in Eleuthera, and it, you know, she's just very, very strong. And so that history and that culture, and she puts up passion into her work. So when you come from a, a line of um, women like this, you can't really, you know, you can't really just be ordinary. Uh, ordinary, no, yeah. you have to, you pushing, like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you're making it, different she wakes up at five o'clock in the morning and go and deal with the pineapples and then she comes back and takes a little break and then goes back like her work ethic is phenomenal like, mm -hmm. and my grandmother is the same it's just she's in her 90s now she wakes up at five o'clock maybe even earlier sometimes she still goes into the banana fields wow. i think my pr proudest thing to tell her is that i have a banana pit in the back of my yard because, I mean, she doesn't really get the whole design part of it, but, mm -hmm. but she's very proud that I have a banana bit, you know? Amazing. Yeah. That's part of what I want to inspire is like, mm -hmm. we're Bahamian, this book is about Bahamians, your mm -hmm. family is in this book. Yeah. Like, it's a real deal. We, we are the experts in this space because we're from this space. Right, so we could understand um, the Bahamas in general, because the reality is, is how do you sell a place you don't know? Exactly. How do you create a living space for a space that you don't know? Um, it's easy to come in and, and take tidbits from the Bahamas, but when you actually live and understand how to draw water from the well, if you understand how to catch a hawk, <laughs> if you understand how to fish, mm -hmm. like all of these things are really, really, Bahamian based diving for conch, all of these things are the Bahamian experience. And so once mm -hmm. you have those experiences and you create that in a space or you're trying to sell real estate, you really know the authenticity of the culture, like the sound of Junkanoo mm -hmm. and, and, and the, the, the feel of sound on your feet or um, the salt on your skin when you're in the water. Like it's just a different experience and understanding that level of. Um, um, Feeling is basically coming from, from Earth. Like, yeah. it's not something you could just pick up overnight. That's amazing. My grandmother's actually from Long Island as well. Yeah, man, that's, you know, it's the culture. Yeah. But thanks, Lori, for coming and sharing with us what is Bahamian design and architecture. 
I learned a lot. I hope everyone who was watching learned and it's been great to have you. Thank you for having me. I'm glad that you have some sort of a little bit of understanding. And you could tell your friends like the interior design is a little bit more than like in furniture. Absolutely. <laughs>